Bum dum dum bum dum 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 ass. Oh yes, it is YouTube's favorite idiot, me, Katana, the Lightning Cat, spelt with a three instead of an e. Because I'm a dumbass, YouTube's favorite idiot. And tits episode today will be survivals for five minutes. It will be Sedna to the Kova Fortress. Which I'll be adding to the playlist where to farm what in Warframe. So that you can compare those last videos to these videos today and yesterday. Because today's the 23rd. And yesterday was the 22nd, and I was recording those other two videos yesterday, and it just now became the 23rd of today, March the 23rd of 2020. So you can compare this uh, output of resources minus half of what I get on the um, credit booster. See, minus 50% before the caches for credits only. And then this episode, we'll, we'll start. I will start, because there's no we. I don't have an editor. So I will start with Sedna. There's one survival. Just give me a moment. We'll go over all of these. Make sure there's only. So many survivals. Okay, there's Selkie and Amana. That's Arena, those three, four. Okay. I'm gonna start with Amana and then go to Selkie. Survival. Survival! He's Ted Bear, and if you want to survive, this is how you do it. Anyone else watch Explosive Entertainment? Entertainment. Yeah. Words. Me being drunk equals bad wordage. Totally not bad English. Distract the infested while the ground panel operator hunts for supplies. Set off the alarms to start. Hold still, you. Anyway, Ted Bear from Explosive Entertainment. Yeah, they've got a whole playlist. Oh, didn't see you there. I'm Ted Bear. Try to keep up. Okay, for those of you who've actually seen Explosive Entertainment's Ted Bear, you'll know what I'm talking about. And the trick to dying is never to die to begin with. You know, it occurs to me, I could be a plug for other YouTube channels, but I watch these channels and I laugh at these channels' content because their content is fucking hilarious to me. Yes, I know. Comedy is subjective to the eye of the beholder, so what's funny to me may not be funny to you. But it's worth finding out if it's funny to you as well. And that's why I'm Ted Bear, and I'm gonna eat my own dick. Hmm. 
here for those of you who are saying what the actual fuck. Go look up Explosive Entertainment on YouTube. Oh yeah, um, a few years ago, a YouTuber I watch, uh, channel name Tear of Grace, said, you know, bigger channels should support smaller channels. Pewds attempted that, and YouTube lynched him for it. Because they manufactured some bullshit about one particular thing that he did. Concordantly, and in addition to, hey, you know what? I'm small, real small, 50 subs small, and I'm saying check out these other YouTube channels that are fucking larger than me. So you know, when I actually get big time, I'll still be supporting guys who are smaller than me, even if I surpass channels like Explosive Entertainment. Because they're fucking hilarious. And because, you know, fuck YouTube's out of that revenue. It's shit to begin with. And they've revamped the fucking way to get in so many times, and I've been kicked out so many fucking times, I don't care anymore. So, if I support a channel who they don't like and they make up this bullshit about it, fuck them! Fuck you for believing them! Fuck you for not checking it out for yourself and validating their bullshit claims to begin with, like they did with PewDiePie. Fuck you for being a sheeple. I'm Ted Bear. Now fuck you, sheeple. And the trick to surviving the infested is to always kill them first. Entertainment and bitching about <laughs> YouTube being a bitch. Yes, yes, I did. Was it worth it? Yes, yes, it was. I feel better about it now. Am I gonna continue to do it? Fuck the hell, yes, I am. YouTube continues to be a little bitch to everyone. And get a couple of more kills, can the reload time. Just for the fuck's sake of it, you know? There wasn't a lot, but this is this is a game that's similar to economy of scale. And if you want to understand economy of scale, there's a lot of places you can look to to research that topic. But to summarize it always growing more and more and larger and larger and always gaining more and more and larger and larger growth and profit profit that explains succinctly or instead of saying succinctly that explains the simplest way to explain economy of scale And that's the ideology that the um, stock market has. Okay, 47,910 credits, 3,000 credit cash, 65 endo, 420 alloy plates, YOLO, 420 swag for life, a statue of Big J, reference to Helsing Ultimate Abridged by Team Fallstar. Which you may or may not enjoy. Check it out, see for yourself. You know, fuck off, come back later. That sort of thing. While you're waiting for me to do shit, you fuck off and watch other people, and then you come back to me when I've actually uploaded something. 
1,140 salvage, 3 detonite ampules, 156 rubido, and 1 nav coordinate. Credits you're gonna have to cut in half. Okay, now Selkie. And then I move to the next node on the map. You know, when I went from Jupiter to Eris in 2018, I spent 2 hours, 9 minutes, and 33 seconds on that video. And the one I did just a few minutes ago, I spent way less time on it. Your job is to distract the enemy while a but if you want to see like a fucking 10 minute, highly edited device. video, Make where I condense all the information via having a fucking editor they have just shut down you're gonna have to pay me for that because certain well every fucking editing software in existence requires a monthly subscription so I need monthly fucking support to pay for that shit and that'll greatly condense my fucking ramblings and rants so badly to the point where you may not get them at all and you might actually enjoy my fucking content. If you're a mindless fucking sheeple husk. I don't mind moving around if you don't get hit by these assholes. and hide behind a box, you're just gonna die tired you are near fucking clone. Might as well get some, uh, affinity for, uh, ex well, experience for fucking, uh, school of focus while I'm at it. Might as well. No point in letting it go to waste right now. I say that, but I probably have let it go to waste in the past. So, shit fucking happens. Psychological priorities change. What I focus on from moment to moment in my psychological fortitude changes. You ever think about that? Okay, that's like two seconds I lost going back here to get that. So I'm gonna have to add two seconds of me killing things at the end of this. Try and round everything off efficiently. Okay, that last focus thingy that I got, it was right next to me. I'm not gonna go out of my way to get that one. Not right now, while I'm getting a baseline for everyone to run the comparison. Or for those who are mathematically inclined enough to run the comparison. Uh, of time put in. Versus resources gotten out. 
versus the updates versus mission type versus drop rate versus resource booster versus no resource booster that's a lot of fucking shit to run comparative analysis on no fucking shit this game is fucking deep mate it really is it's mathematically deep so you need um you need algebra and geometry to understand a lot of the math behind this game geometry is for the the logarithmic and the linear chart scaling for damage output that used to be applied on status where it was a logarithmic or exponential growth curve which everyone says in layman's terms looks like a hockey stick but no it's it's quite different it's not exactly a hockey stick it's more of a a curved right angle that's the closest thing to accurately describing it properly one second Two seconds. Okay, there you go. Two extra seconds. Resources to compensate for me. Get that star. What? Right, another star. See, 90% of the time, a star will pop up while you're on your way out. After the five minute mark. Well, for me, in this, this whimsy that I'm doing. Took me 47 seconds to get to the exit. Okay, 13,640 credits divided by 2, and that gives you the answer to how many credits without the resource booster that I have for credits. 3,000 credit cash, 2 cyan stars, 95 endo, 1,524 salvage. Or salvage. Why the fuck not say it like that? It's funny to some people. Some people might enjoy it. 190 Rubido. Two detonite ampules. Two nav coordinates. And 293 alloy plates. Never mind that hissing sound, that's the sound of me opening a Mr. Pib. I am quite thirsty. Okay. Next planet. Captain Planet. We Oh, it's the void. Okay. That's a survival. That's an exterminate. That's a survival. Okay, Mott and Annie. I'm gonna start with Annie and then go to Mott. Little orphan Annie. You know, Anakin, <laughs> you're an orphan now. <laughs> I just I just had to throw a Seth Green's robot chicken reference in there I just had why the fuck not who likes robot chicken 
doesn't like robot chicken? A lone Tenno operative is reading this ship for supplies. You are here to distract your And as always, I give you permission to call me an idiot. Anything else, and you will off. be banned. They're trying to choke you. Hold on. I'm sending auxiliary life support. I don't give second chances anymore. I don't give second opportunities anymore. One fuck up is all you will get. Even if you're a patron or PayPal supporter, you fuck up once, I'm telling you to take your money and fuck right off. Because I don't want the support of a little bitch who likes to be a little bitch. Because this isn't like we're sitting in front of each other person to person. You can take your fucking time in developing a response to anything I say. And you can understand that 99% of what I say is satire, sarcasm, and parody. Except for when I say I genuinely fucking hate all of humanity equally. Because I fucking do. Oh shit, I might have to summon my minions for Shield of Shadows. And yes, I have put in the mod cars for Shield of Shadows and Desecrate Augmentation. And I've got, um... I forgot what that mod card is called. Where it gives me health when I pick up an energy orb, and it gives me energy when I pick up a health orb. So, as long as I'm desecrating health and energy out of things, I'm fucking good. Plus, Necros is passive. Five fucking uh, health for every enemy that dies within so many meters of it. So I've combined all those things together to make a, a, a melee heavy uh, Desecrate Shield of Shadows build. As long as you're within melee range and shit's dying around you, you're good to go with the build. Combine that with the, the fact that B.E. actually did one thing good out of all of the net negatives and net nerfs that they've done. To where now companions actually do damage and actually fight against the uh, opponents you come into contact with. I gotta say, this build is really nice. Uh. Your corpse was tasty. Give me more. Oh, that uh, fucking focus school experience was right in my path. Literally. So I'll take it. Although I'm not fucking counting it in the over-ender of the, uh, where upon what in Warframe right now. Alright, I gotta reload, so I'll just melee the living fuck out of you assholes for a minute. Oh yeah, for people who haven't um, paid attention, can watch this. Just, just keep watching. That that stagger after spinning, you can counter that. And stop your uh, combo and switch to another one. Forward and then switch combo. Switch combo again. There you go. So you can just string together 
bouncing back and forth from combo to combo on the stance mods. You don't have to roleplay as uh, Yoshimitsu all the time and get dizzy from spinning around in a circle. I am surprised. I lasted five minutes without dying. Without needing to summon my minions of the army of the damned. I'm surprised I managed to last that long. Okay, 10,978 credits. One Lith S9 Relic, 65 Endo, 1,307 Ferrite, 7 Control Modules, 5 Nav Coordinates, and 49 Rubido. Versus whatever I made back in 2018 on the same damn mission. Probably a lot more back then. I'm estimating based on the trend and known variables in the equation that I've seen. Taking into account for chaos theory and the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, I'm guessing... I saw half the amount of resources versus back in 2018, which would I might have seen double. You don't have to understand the deeper mathematics of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle or chaos theory. I'll summarize it for you. The Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. Can we ever really know anything? Well, the answer is yes. Yes, we can. Chaos Theory. Patterns on top of patterns interacting with patterns based upon multiple types of patterns that are in itself a pattern within a pattern. In the grand scheme of patterns upon patterns. That is Chaos Theory in a nutshell. If that sounds convoluted and complicated, it really isn't. After you understand it and you've studied it for, I don't know, five minutes, you'll get the gist of it. Some patterns repeat themselves, some patterns don't. But they're all within the grand scheme of patterns upon patterns that are patterns within patterns. Oh shit, my shield's gone. Oh shit, my shield's coming again. Yes, I need minions of damned. Come forth, my minions. Defend me. I require thine assistance. Okay, because of my minions, I'm estimating a... 10 to 15 percent decrease in the amount of resource probabilities simply because you know I've got minions on the field and it's going to take up uh, CPU processing cycles that could be used to generate idiots on the field oh fuck my shields are down again. oh fuck I've only got two minions oh fuck I'm going to get a lot less resources out of this. talking about in game oh shit I strayed too far away from them in these two seconds where the resource collection wasted
I'm just hoping that Corrupted 4 doesn't show up because then I'll be totally fucked as far as uh, survivability goes. And these enemies are level 40 by the way. And they are much more difficult than the ones I faced in the previous area of the void. Yeah, so much for the s curve, huh? It still feels like it did in 2018 to me. It still looks like it did in 2018 to me. Instead of an S curve or a parabolic uh, logarithmic curve, what we need is a, a linear curve. Oh my god. Fucking me over horribly. Oh look, an argon crystal. Okay, I'm doing a lot more damage with my creeping criticism. You want me to be kind in my YouTube videos? Okay, yeah. Uh, shut the fuck up. Don't make any comments to piss me off. And pay me money, bitches. Don't like that I said that? Well, too, too fucking bad. Tough shit. Reality fucking sucks. You want to escape from it? You're going to have to dish out some serious fucking cash. Okay, um, yeah, start right now. One second, two seconds, three seconds. Okay, yeah, an extra three seconds of resources. Just to balance out when I spent two seconds summoning minions. Just to be generous to DE. Just to be generous. As generous as fucking possible. Within the boundaries of my preset five minute survival, where to farm what in mission playlist, okay? As usual, cut the credits in half before any uh, credit caches. 15,222 credits, one Neo R3 relic. 914 ferrite, 17 rubido, 4 control modules, and 1 argon crystal. I never had a problem farming argon crystals. I never complained about it, never even thought about complaining about it. Then I heard they buffed the drop rate for argon crystals because people were complaining about it. Honestly, yeah, I can get it because argon crystals dissipate over time. But at the same time, if you're just hoarding Argon Crystals, if you're one of the players who is just hoarding them, just for the fuck's sake of it, you're an idiot. Sentinel uh, all the way to the Kuva Fortress. Oh, this is gonna be fun, the Kuva Fortress. Uh, uh... And I will not be going into the derelict at this time. If I did so in the 2018 videos, fine. But I'm not going into the derelict at this particular time. Or in this series of three videos. Okay, there is one survival on the Kuva Fortress. And, as you can tell, I'm on invite only. Invite only and solo are roughly the same, except in solo, when you pause, the, the game actually pauses.
instead of continuing in the background. Nice touch, D. I like that. And I can tell that you've added that since I've been away for a whole fucking year. Yeah, I can call you out and say nice touch there. You did a good job on that thing. But what I've learned from all of you retarded humans is that anytime I say, Oh, you did a good job with that thing, you all get your heads up your fucking asses and act like a bunch of fucking better than thou bitches just because you fucking got a compliment. So why the fuck should I compliment anyone on any goddamn thing at all? As expected, Near have shut down the environmental systems, sending modified life support capsules to be used to sustain your environment or companies, individuals, groups of people, everyone. Why the fuck should I compliment anyone on doing anything good when every time I do, or any time anyone compliments anyone else on doing anything good, they become a holier, better than thou bitch with their heads up their fucking ass every last single fucking time without fail you have found a catalyst attached to a life support capsule to begin so i'm just preemptively D, quit being a little bitch just because i compliment you on doing one thing good doesn't mean that the net negative you've done isn't bad stupid fucking human bitches your head out of your fucking ass. Now that the call downs are in place, let's get back to the, the fantasization of kicking the fucking ass out of all these grenier assholes. Holy shit, I both need to stay agile and avoid getting hit while staying agile and hitting the living fuck out of all of these bitches. A harvester has finished. Collect Modification successful. Collecting. If you want to count the Kuva that I collect in this one, go right ahead. If you don't want to count it, don't bother. That's all the way up to your personal choice of counting resources on the five minutes worth of survival as a baseline comparison for everything else that you want to do with it. Yeah, it's totally up to you. Says you're over here. Oh, you're stuck on a thing. Gotcha. This castle will now harvest. Hey, I need minions because I'm taking the boat to the shields. To the shields. That'll give me like 15 seconds worth of uh, not having to worry about a damn thing. So that I can optimize the amount of time I spend killing other things in order to get more resources.
capsule. Okay, this is probably gonna be the last capsule. Cause I'm at 4 minutes 30 some odd seconds. No, 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 wrong button, fuck! Is ready. Right, go this way. Let's go near sex dungeon, though. Twisty turn. Six hundred Kuva. Ten thousand five hundred and six credits. Four hundred Indo. Seventy nine circuits. Nine hundred seventy six salvage. And one detonite ampule. Last time I did uh, this bit, it was an hour, 11 minutes, 35 seconds long. Thus concludes the vast majority of survivals on the star chart. Again. <clears throat> just to just to provide another baseline to see if they decrease the spawn rate of everything have they increased the spawn rate of everything personally I believe they've decreased it personally I see it as much more difficult to get fucking resources till next time fuck right off